A new law in South Carolina makes it easier to catch drivers who pass stop school buses. And it's all because of technology. News 13's Evan Donovan joins us live to explain what's new about the law. Evan? Well, the penalties for passing a stop school bus are steep, and they have not changed. But what this new law does, it is allows the virtual eyes of a camera to be used for writing tickets. The video you see here is a reminder that passing a stopped school bus can be a frightening, if not deadly, incident, and it's an all too common occurrence. Since 2013, the South Carolina Department of Public Safety has received more than 540 complaints about stop arm violations from the Department of Education. But only 159 citations were issued in that year and a half because previously law enforcement had to witness a vehicle passing a school bus in order to write a ticket. But until the law was on the books, it really was, was irrelevant about the funding for the cameras because they could not be used in any capacity for enforcement. To, so to me, this was the first big step. Individual school districts will have to fund purchase of the cameras on their own, so some plan to do it in phases because of the cost. Standard bus just to start outfitting it is going to cost you starting probably at $1,500 all the way to $3,000, and that depends on the numbers of bells and whistles you get. But troopers and legislators say cost is less of an issue than keeping kids safe. In May, a teenage girl in Cherokee County was seriously injured when she was hit so hard by a passing driver it knocked her shoes and socks off and her backpack onto the top of the bus. Our children are our precious uh, resource. Uh, they're our future. The camera system will record all of the information law enforcement will need to catch offending drivers. It'll see the type of car, it'll get a profile of the driver, and it'll get a very good picture of their tag, regardless of how fast or which direction they're coming from. Technology that many say is worth the investment. And the graphic to help people understand when you can pass a stopped school bus. If you're on a two-lane road, that's one way in each direction, you cannot pass the bus at all while the stop signs or in the arm are out. If you're on a four-lane road or bigger, then you can only pass if you're going in the opposite direction of the bus. And those penalties are steep. $500 and six points on your license just for your first offense. It jumps up to 2000 for your second offense. So the Highway Patrol is hoping people will just obey the law. Reporting from the Greenville News Center, I'm Evan Donovan for News 13.